Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Topping NX1As. Now these are a portable headphone amplifier from Grand Vela. Uh, and they go for around $60 on Amazon.ca or around $40 on Amazon.com. Now these are an upgrade to the NX1s that pretty much uh, just gives them 50% more battery life. I'll talk about the battery life later, but uh, first let's take a look at the actual unboxing experience. Now I've actually opened these up and I uh, listened to them on a variety of different headphones and sources but I just put them back in so you can see what the unboxing experience is like. So it's got a really simple packaging, um, very plasticky but don't expect much for this price. You have the user manual that looks like it's half Chinese, half, it's got Korean, I don't know, it's got a lot of different languages in there, you don't really need to care about that. Uh, now what these are are little velcro circles that you can stick onto the back of these uh, and also onto the back of your phone or uh, anchor it to your table, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, those are included and you get a ton of them. Uh, these are little rubber rings that you can use to strap the actual device onto your phone if you'd like. And if you'd like, and you have a really short 3.5 millimeter cable. Now I like that it's short because if you have uh, this stacked right on top of your device, it won't, the cable won't stick out that much. It'll just go in like that. So really nice that it's a short cable. And finally, you get a little um, micro USB cable for charging the actual device. I'll just pop these babies out and we can take a look at the build quality. For $37, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is. So as you can see, it's matte black. It's really small. It's about the width, I'd say, of an iPhone 4. So it's actually a lot smaller than uh, I thought it would be. Incredibly small really portable. It's decently light and it's made out of just all metal. It's just completely solid, super solid design. Um, it just feels really high quality. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, I will say though that if you shake it around a bit you can feel something jiggling in there. I think it's the battery because it's just one solid piece that's moving. Uh, not a really a big issue but I'd still like to point that out either way. Now let's take a look at the IO here. Um, let me focus that. So you have the power switch and it has a little LED to show you that it's on. As you can see there, it's blue. You have the headphone out, the audio input, and a really nice um, grippy. You can see there it's got the ridges. Really smooth feeling uh, volume adjustment knob. It starts at, a, as you can see there, it starts around 7 o'clock and goes all the way up till about uh, 5. And switching around to the back, you will see a high-low gain switch and a charge uh, a charge port. Again, it's micro USB and it has a little uh, LED indicator, which is nice. So let's talk about sound. Uh, if you have a really hard to drive set of headphones like these, these are planar, um, you'll want something like this. Or if you just don't, uh, if you want more volume out of the headphones you've got. So these pretty much will just boost the sound. That's what an amplifier is. You probably know that already know that if you're watching this video uh, but the thing about these is that they're very very neutral so they don't actually change the sound that's coming out of your source uh, they have an impedance of 16 or they can drive uh, headphones that are uh, from 16 to 300 ohms which is very impressive um, and I'll just go over the different sources or the different headphones that I have here these are my hi-fi men HE400 eyes these are planar you can see there the driver is not your usual circular dynamic driver. So these are a hell of a lot harder to drive than something like my ATHM50s, for example, um, which are just your usual driver. And I have an extra pair of uh, in-ears there, from also from Ganbella. I'll talk about those in a separate video that you should watch. But um, for the high Feynman's, I get around 80% volume at high gain. Um, what I mean by that, well, that's a bit confusing, but what I mean by that is uh, I like to listen to them, so I pretty much just tune these all to the same listening level, the volume that I like. This uh, hits that volume at 80% on high gain, so it almost maxes, almost maxes this thing out. Uh, whereas these can be run at 50% on low gain, and these can go at 35% on low gain. So it varies a lot. Um, I've read some reviews from other reviewers. Uh, and they say that you can have something up to something, uh, you can have up to, 
headphones such as the Fostex T50 RP that are notoriously hard to drive. So these have plenty of power. And the thing about the sound is that it's very neutral. It doesn't change the sound, uh, like I said before. Um, unless you have something like these, which are harder to drive, then you might actually see a pretty big improvement over something like your cell phone. Uh, not just in terms of volume, but actually in terms of quality. Uh, but if you've got a normal um, low impedance headphone uh, with high sensitivity, such as the ATHM 50s, or in-ears like the Grand Vela A8s over there, um, these will have plenty of power. And I'd even consider it kind of dangerous to use on a high gain because if you accidentally just turn that knob too much, you'll get your eardrums blown out. So plenty of power here. Shouldn't be worried unless you have just the most hardest drive headphones in the world. But if you have those, you probably will want to pay more than uh, 40 bucks for an amplifier anyways. Uh, next thing about it, it's got a super low noise floor. What that means is that uh, when you have these on, you don't have anything playing, you won't hear any hissing uh, or background like static noise unless you're using something that's super sensitive at a very low volume. So for example, on the uh, in-ears over there, if I have them on high gain at a very low volume, uh, you will hear just a static hissing sound. However, um, if you put it on low gain, that that problem disappears completely. And considering that you're going to be using it on low gain anyways, not really a problem. Problem. Uh, I use these, uh, or these two. Um, I can't hear that hissing sound whatsoever because I'm listening to it a bit louder. So it only, really only occurs at the very lowest volume when it's on high gain, but if you're on high gain, you're not probably not using the lowest volume anyways. So that's not really a problem. Um, one thing that I did find though, is that it had a slight bit of interference or static. So it would have a little bit of uh, just weird hissing or popping sounds occasionally when I have it stacked on top of my phone. Uh, maybe it's because of the signal, cellular signal interfering with something. But uh, when I have it hooked up to my computer uh, through the, my other source or um, just a way a bit further away from my phone. That's not a problem whatsoever. Um, it really only occurs once in a while when I'm using it with my phone. Uh, I wouldn't consider it really a problem, but I'd like to mention it anyways. So that's about it for sound. Now the thing that, that impresses me the most about these is the battery life. So these actually last up to 150 hours. Now I've been using these uh, non-stop for about a week and they still haven't run out, obviously, because uh, I haven't used them for 150 hours in a week, but um, that's just crazy for something like this, especially considering how small and how inexpensive it is. 150 hours, more than I could have asked for. Um, pretty much you won't need to charge these <laughs> very often whatsoever. And uh, if you're using these at your desk, you can you can actually charge them. Uh, just keep them permanently plugged into your computer and you won't have to worry about the battery whatsoever. So, But again, you're supposed to be using this uh, for portable use anyways. But. 150 hours, super awesome. So in conclusion, these are affordable, extremely portable. They're super well built with that uh, aluminum, I'm assuming, aluminum um, casing. And they sound very, very flat. So they don't change the sound at all. They just make it a hell of a lot louder. So that's about it for these headphones. If you have, er, That's about it for these this amplifier. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you wanna see more, check out my channel. Uh, if you like the videos, please do subscribe, and uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.